Hello my friends, I am here with a mixed media tutorial and Merry Christmas in July. So I'm starting off with a Santorini stone and I'm using gold and silver paint that I'm watering my brush down with and just doing some splatter on the background. And that's all the background is going to be is gold and silver splatter. And you can use acrylic paint, you can use pen ink, you can use anything you want to use to make that splatter. I will put in the description what I used. Next, I'm going to be foiling a patchwork Christmas tree and I am using nail foils and nail glue to do this but just know that you can use um, any kind of scrap paper uh, scrapbook paper uh, cardstock anything like that to make this tree you don't necessarily have to use the foil you can still follow my little uh, design for the tree and the design is real simple it's just like a little trapezoid type shape on the the bottom in the middle and then the top's just a triangle and then a star at the top so I sketched that out prior now I'm applying SXC nail glue and I I had some difficulty with my nail foil but I left it in the video to to show you that um, sometimes this kind of stuff happens and you just got to kind of work your way through it. So I put some glue down. I did, used my Mac Art Light. I uh, let the UV light sit on it for uh, one time first, but then I started doing it twice because I was having some issues with my foil. And you're going to see in a minute when I pull this foil off, I'm really struggling getting some of this foil to stick to the glue and I'm thinking that my glue is old I'm think it doesn't say on the packaging that it expires but I think this bottle um, I think that they do have a shelf life and I'm thinking that's what my issue is because it was working fine and I've used this foil before so you can see me struggling trying to get that foil to stick in some areas. And then I try to line it up to fix it. So, um, that's, that's a little bit of the issue that I had this time. But it's not always the issue. So, I chunked that bottle of glue and I'm going to get a new bottle. And hopefully I won't have this problem again and I'll have to use it up faster than I was before. So, I have three different types of foil here. This comes in a kit with plaids. And um, if I can find a link for that, I will uh, put a link in the description for that foil. Um, now I'm going to do the middle section with the red foil and then the top section is going to be green foil and I'm just um, putting the glue in and then I'll let it uh, sit under the UV light. Now the UV light is a 6 watt light. That's what I like using with nail foil so you don't have any wrinkling problems. Uh, if you use too high of a wattage um, you will have your glue wrinkling and it just it won't work very well so 6 watt works best for the nail foils so the red did great I had no issues with the red at all um, but now I'm doing green and I'm gonna have a little issues with the green so um, but uh, I had to do some um, investigation to kind of figure out what was going on because I don't normally have these issues with the foil so sometimes it happens so I just had trouble in certain areas with the foil sticking and you can see me really working at it trying to get it to stick and there was a whole piece right there that that absolutely just would not stick to it so it's almost as if the fo the foil glue was leaving some kind of a residue or something and and the foil wasn't sticking to it so so 
So I tried to line that up and cover that one little spot up. So now I'm doing the tree trunk and I'm using kind of a tan and red and black plaid for the trunk. And that all is in that same kit that you get. And not all of you will have trouble with this foil like I did. It's just that, like I said, I had old glue. So don't be scared. So I had a little trouble with that one too. But then I decided I really wasn't happy with that bottom section. So I took a, a alcohol swab and I just took it all off. And I thought I'm just going to start over from the beginning. Um, but the alcohol only takes off the foil. It, and once it dries, it's still sticky. So you can do foil again. And for some reason, the foil seemed to do better the second time around. So that's why I was thinking... It was some kind of like a residue separation in the glue, I think. So, um, it, I did the bottom trunk and it worked perfectly. So then I went up to the, and decided to do the top one, give it a try again. And there was a couple of spots that didn't attach, but it was something that I could totally fix and it wouldn't look so bad. Like, like the first round. So now I finally got that done. And I'm happy with it. So now I'm going to pull out my gold paint. And I'm going to paint in the star. And eventually I'm going to add some glitter to it. But this is just the base coat. My glitter is kind of chunky. So you want to have that base coat underneath it. Now I'm taking a Posca 1MR pen. And I'm lining the tree. And the trunk. This is one of my favorite pens to use. I go through them pretty good, pretty quick because I'm a little bit uh, heavy handed and um, I do them on rocks and so the rocks eat up the pens, but they're my favorite pen to use. Now I'm doing a little cleanup here. So if there was not a straight line on the foil, I'm cleaning all that up now to just to make it look a little bit better. Now I'm taking the chunky glitter. This is by Folk Art and it's gold and I'm going to apply it with a disposable eyeliner brush and I'm going to put it on kind of thick because it's super chunky so I want it to show up and if you put it real thin you're only going to get a few pieces of glitter. So now I'm taking this sticker that I had. It's like a 3D scrapbooking type sticker and it had a little bird on it. And I only wanted the bird. So I took my box cutter and cut out the little bird that I needed. And now I'm using a Thule Art uh, Gold. And I'm going to make the bottom part. So this is my um, inspiration for this was a greeting card. And on the bottom was some kind of um, textured paper that they had used so I tried to just make that look as best I could with a pen so that's what I'm working on right now and like I said this is a Thule art um, this is from their 18 pack um, and I only have the uh, 0.7 tips. I don't have the bigger ones, so that's why I have to work a little bit harder on this because it's a small chisel tip. But it works. It just takes a little bit more elbow grease. <laughs> I love doing mixed media and um, it's a lot of fun. Um, so the, the, uh, triangles that are pointing up I'm going in with some gold and putting it at the top and then I'm using my brush and just kind of smudging it so it's only filling in part of that and then I thicken that middle line just a little bit and I'm going to just kind of touch up here and there where the lines need to be thicker fix up what needs to be fixed 
Now I'm going to start putting the words in on the rock. And I used that scotch. It's kind of like washi tape, but it's scotch brand. And I tore it in half because I just wanted some little pieces. And I do that because I'm a lefty and I tend to write either uphill or downhill. So I wanted to have the lines there just to kind of keep me somewhat straight. So I'm using a Posca, um, a number one. M in green and I'm doing the downstroke thicker so you'll see me draw in the word and then I'll go back and I'll thicken each downstroke and I wanted if I wish I had had um, an MR in green because I would have had a little bit better luck but I was using this 1M and with the chisel tip it's harder to work with so you tend to splatter a little bit and so I had to be really careful not to um, splash the ink everywhere. So it took me a little longer than normal just, just because I was being mindful of that. And this is just kind of like a basic cursive writing font. Um, so, you know, it's not real complicated. It's fairly easy if you know... Uh, cursive except that I did thicken all the downstrokes so it gives it a little bit of a of a fancy look so I'm going to start taking some of the lines off and I'm going to do one more word which is Christmas now I have that little bird and I'm trying to decide where I want to put it on the quote So I'm just kind of moving it around and trying to figure out what I want to do with it. That's the fun part about mixed media. And pretty much anything goes with these mixed media rocks. They're, they're so much fun. I hope y'all give it a try. Gather you up some paper, some pens, some stamps, some glitter, and just have some fun. Now I'm using matte medium, just a little tiny dot of it, with a disposable eyeliner brush, and that's what I'm going to put on the bird to stick him on the rock. And I apply a little on the top just to get those edges. Now I'm going to take my Posca 1MR in white, and I'm just going to add some white into that gold, and it's just going to kind of give it a roughed up look. Um, some white accent, make it look a little textured 3D. And now I'm just going to kind of uh, use a little bit of the ink on a dry brush and I'm just smudging in some of those really white spots and just making it look a little like aged maybe. And we're almost done with this rock. Um, this was a fun mixed media piece. It's easy. Um, I hope y'all give it a try. Like I said, you can use paper for the tree. You don't have to use foil. And um, just have fun with it. So I hope you have a, a shot at doing some mixed media. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.